Serious atrocities against the ethnic Kachin committed by the Burmese army have been revealed in a report launched by the Kachin Women's Association of Thailand. In our report, we are most focused on the sexual violence abuses and also killing and the tortures and also there are some other, uh, some other abuses that the um, regimes, uh, um, regimes committed or troop committed. The report, named Burma's Covered Up War, alleges that the military had been deliberately targeting civilians as part of its strategy. That is kind of uh, their military strategy that using target uh, using or targeting um, to civilian attack. If they are attacking these uh, uh, people, then um, the KIA will not get if oh, honestly, will not get support from these people. Fighting between the Burmese Army and the Kachin Independence Army, or the KIA broke out in northern Burma in early June. Since then, thousands of families have had to flee to the Burma-China border to escape increasing conflict and occupation by the Burmese army as they push north towards the KIA stronghold in Laijar. Currently, as many as 25,000 people are internally displaced in camps along the Burma-China border, homeless after fleeing atrocities which include killings, torture and sexual violence. The conflict follows a 17-year ceasefire that broke down after Burmese troops entered KIA territory. The KIA had declined to join the government's border guard force. Since fighting began, the political wing of the KIA, the Kachin Independence Organization, and Burma's Northern Command have made some attempts at peace talks to try and renegotiate a ceasefire. Meeting at the end of June, Burmese army commanders said they also wanted fighting to stop. But actions didn't follow words, and fighting continued through to August when the groups met again. <laughs> The Burmese troops told the KIA that their policies had changed under the new government and the KIA would need to test them. But since the new government has formed, fighting has increased in Burma's border regions and atrocities against civilians are on the rise. The report asserts that the Burmese government has tried to conceal the situation in Kachin state from the outside world. Information is difficult to get from the region, where the regime has barred NGOs and international organizations from entering. However, speaking in his first press conference since the new government took power, Information Minister Jo San talked about the reason for the fighting. <laughs> With the government's position on the conflict clear and their control on media in the country, it is difficult to get the other perspective. But sometimes images do leak out. Just a few days before the Kachin Women's Association Thailand released their report, some shocking footage from the area appeared on the internet. The footage shows what appears to be a KIA ambush of a Burmese camp. Terrified prisoners are lined up in front of the camera, and bodies bearing the insignia of the Burmese Army's Northern Command are strewn across the ground. These gruesome images give a new insight into ethnic conflict and the role of both Kachin and Burmese troops. 
But the Kachin Women's Association Thailand maintained that the KIA are just defending their homes and their land. In reality, bomb is, uh, we are, uh, the KIA, uh, KIA is not uh, offensive. The bomb is to they came and enter and attack to this area. So that's why they are defense mostly. They are defensive and they are de defensive and they uh, uh, fight back to this um, the, the Burmese troop. And as long as Burmese troops continue to occupy Kachin territory, the atrocities laid out in the report, as well as the conflict itself, seem set to continue.